welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can interpret rnsic heat maps here we can see a heat map generated through rnsic data so uh, first we should know which data we can use for rnsic data so uh, here i can tell you uh, three types of data can be used number one is actually the read counts data we can use to read counts data and uh, number two we can also use fpkm values so actually this type and this type is actually used when initially data is analyzed and usually uh, the the heat map which are generated by these two types are usually they are in larger in size and those uh, the third type of heat map which are most useful they are generated uh, with deg's data so we we know that usually deg's are also obtained from these fpkm values or read counts data so we can see that this heat map here what we can see here is also generated from let me change the color yeah uh, here the heat map which we can see it was also generated from the deg's value here we can see that the deg's value were actually what can be the deg's values usually we use in rnsic data there are two criteria for deg's number one is log fc value and number two is p value so usually we take log fc value more than two but sometime we can also take log fc value more than one and p value is usually uh, taken as less than 0 0.05 so we can see that here this heat map was generated at uh, these two criteria we can see that here p value is 0 0.05 and log fc value was um, greater than one so there were actually two treatments one is wild type and here is a mutant that is apa1331 so actually this heat map was uh, created in two conditions one is condition one and other is condition two so uh, first we should know that that each condition should have three repeats like here this is one two and three so similarly the second condition like the wild type one two and three so now we can see that what actually telling this heat map so here we can see that here are many lines so what does actually each line mean so here actually each line mean one gene so it mean here actually each line is representing one gene so what does actually the color showing so here is the color key so the higher is the expression value the color would be red as the expression would be the low so the color would be in the blue so here we can see that this number of groups of gene were upregulated in wild type and uh, this number of regulated genes were actually down regulating because color here is blue so each line mean like here if here are many lines so it mean actually it is just showing the number of upregulated and number of down regulated genes so it means heat map uh, usually show the number of up regulated and number of down regulated genes so as the number of uh, lines would be more so we can see that the number of up and down regulated genes would be high so here we can see in this group uh, the number of genes because here their mostly color is blue here is red so we can see that here those genes which were up regulating in the mutant type i mean apa1331 and here the number of genes were actually the down regulated in wild type so here we can see that uh, here the color is not consistent like here is red here is also red and here is blue so it mean even uh, there were variation within the repeats so actually 
these these genes like with which are in this groups are actually not reliable why not reliable because within each uh, treatment like because this is the trip only one treatment but there are three biological repeats so we can see actually there are variation within the biological repeat so it might be due to the same sample error so we can see that here color should be the same here we can see the color everywhere is red so actually these are more reliable but here uh, let me change the color so i can show you more easily yeah here in the blue color we can see mm, these are be actually the variation so variations are showing actually there were variation within within the repeats so uh, now we can simply understand that actually heat map tell the number of up and down regulated genes so uh, let me import uh, another file and can show you the different genes uh, so that we can understand uh, how actually further interpretation of rna seq data in terms of specific genes we can done so let me import another photo let me discard this one and import a new one yeah here is a new gene yeah uh, here so here we can see that here are many genes let me please change the color yeah here we can see that here are many genes so here actually uh, these are the treatments like these are treatments so here we can see that there are no biological repeats so actually they have already taken the average of each three so the, it mean in this heat map uh, we cannot guess the validity of data we are just uh, taking the average i mean there are uh, some types of uh, heat map in which the deg's value of each biological repeats have already been represented as the average value so here are actually the different treatments so we can see that uh, like if we talk about this specific gene here each one show red red mean it is showing the one expression and as the color would be green it show the maximum so it mean among all the treatment this treatment which is the ph 48 hours after post infection so this gene was actually up regulating so it is up to you which you color because there are softwares available which can just change uh, the color so you can generate your own heat map and own heat map choice in the form of color so in this way you can interpret how like like this this range of genes are some of them here this green color mean it is up regulating and the down color uh, the down regulated colors mean up regulating so uh, whenever you find a heat map you should focus on the color and the key so actually there are some software available which can uh, just convert these color codings and color codings to back into their expression value in the form of numbers so uh, it just simply give you an estimate like if you don't want to go into the number just simply want to see uh, among the all treatment which genes is going to up regulate and which genes is going to down regulate hope so uh, you have now clear idea what actually the heat map tells if you have any other question please tell me in the comments thank you for watching bye bye